Hey everybody, uh, this is Alan Gilmer, and uh, we want to show you a couple of the some things that we've released here sh recently, and that I think some functionality might be interesting to you. So what you see here on the uh, page right here is essentially my workspaces, all the different things you have at Drill and Info, and these are the saved workspaces. And if you remember from an earlier one, a saved workspace is not only all your filter, you know, all your search parameters, but all your filtering parameters, zoom levels, um, uh, charts, or whatever you wanted to look at that. So let's just uh, start with that, and let's go take a look at uh, uh, Eagleford Oil Gathering. So I'm going to come over here, click Eagleford Oil Gathering, and it's going to be loading my workspace as to what I did yesterday. I spent about 15 minutes overall yesterday on these things and what you're seeing right here is essentially the uh, production data uh, all through the Eagleford and the Eagle Bind. and uh, what it's been is it's been rolled up into its uh, who is the oil gather the crude oil gatherers there and you can see here it is by volume uh, over here on this uh, chart right over here and here it is by uh, in, in the table uh, right over here so all those things have been rolled up into that table and again, if I want to download any of these things, I just click this little export menu and I can go do that. But so let me show you really how I did this. I just did a search uh, for, for Eagleford production. Uh, and I did it from a 2011, a horizontal wells from 2011 to the end of 2015. And then what I did is I came over here into the search parameter and I clicked this little button right over here. And this allows me to go group things. And what then I did is that I just grouped it by oil gatherer. And uh, when I group it by oil gatherer, it takes all those independent wells and then just goes out there and associates it with the gatherer itself. And you can see, you can see averages and sums. And this is the sum daily oil. So this is the sum of all the stuff that they're gathering and it should give you a pretty good number. Uh, if I want to change any of these, like I, I can change an average to a minimum or a maximum or, a, or, a, or the uh, sum or or any of these right over here. So any of these that I see over here, I can go out here and, uh, and adjust <coughs> using this aggregate button right here. So that's really what I did there. And then I came over here to this function and I just basically color coded it by operator and then I sized it by the current daily oil. So pretty, pretty simple. Uh, the next thing I did right over here is I came over here to chart and I, com I did the comparative group chart. And I basically said uh, when I came over to comparative group chart, that I wanted to do this by the top uh, 10 and I wanted to do it uh, order a uh, highest to uh, lowest in terms of I didn't want to do it by count I wanted to do it by peak oil and then I just hit create and it generates that chart that we just saw right over here so this is the peak oil or this is the uh, peak oil uh, really wanted to do it by uh, current oil so daily oil and there's the top five for the daily oil now the thing that's interesting about all this right over here is that if I were to come in here and zoom into any one of these little particular areas, there's who's gathering in that particular area. So as small as I can make it, I can then get an idea of who's actually doing my gathering, whether it's a crude gathering, a gas gathering, or what have you, uh, or just production. So this little area right over here, EOG, Shell Trading, Enterprise, Gibson, and Gulf Mark are all uh, are all gathering here. So that's uh, uh, that's that piece right there. So now let's go to uh, something more interesting. Let's go over here. Oh, that's probably really interesting to some of y'all. But let's go take a Eagle Bind lateral. And this is how do lateral links help uh, Eagle Bind wells? So here are the different Eagle Bind wells that we have right over here. Here's the production that we still have gathered up into this deal. But then here's the perforated. In. So what the only difference I did right over here is I came over here and I did scatter plot. And when I did scatter plot, in this case, I just put perforated interval length relative to the first six, thou, uh, six, barrel, uh, uh, six months barrels of oil equivalent production. And I see a whole lot of things in here. And if I want to basically go hide, I'm going to hide everything except for Halcon and Apache. I'll just click on those. 
and it'll give me an idea of what's going on over here. And what you'll see right over here is let's just look at Halcon. I definitely see a trend between the perforated length and the first six months of, of oil production. If I come over here and take a look at Apache, I definitely see a little bit of a trend as well. So that's kind of interesting. So now let's go do a little bit more work on this. I'm going to go look at this in terms of the eagle buying at the propent per foot level. And where we get at this, the last things we looked at, we saw we were we were kind of attaching from a, a, attacking from a, a, a the production space. And in this case, right over here, we're doing both production and wells. And in this case, I'm throwing wells in here. And the reason I'm throwing wells is because we have a lot more detailed completion information uh, on that. So I'm able to go do some cross-referencing here. But this is peak barrel of oil equivalent relative to propent per perforated foot. So uh, you can see right over here that Halcon, I got this one weird uh, 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 piece that's out there. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to start getting rid of some of these. Let's see, Comstock, Buffco. In America. And then what I see right over here is something kind of interesting. Notice that, uh, you know, uh, Clayton Williams has used uh, propent per foot. If I put this over here, you can see uh, it's like 877, stays pretty flat, 673. And their production rates running, you know, their peak production rates are going kind of maxed out at about 25,000 for that first six, you know, for that peak production rate. Uh, if I see Allen operating, they're using a little bit more uh, propent per foot, and their, their production rates are not that much better. But PMO, notice their bottom ends, they're higher, and their bottom ends aren't really that low relative to these guys. And then if I came over here and take a look at Apache, uh, you can see that there's, uh, you know, higher yet, and they've been achieving these. So, you know, it's not the whole story, but it is kind of suggesting to you that uh, this propent density is having an impact up here. Well, that kind of uh, uh, finishes this one right over here. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be doing a lot more here uh, shortly. Thanks.